And here is a situation where it would involve a, a patient uh, that has had a prior thrombosis, either a deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism, but they are no longer receiving blood thinning treatment. Sometimes it's given for three months or six months. And the question is, well, if I become infected with the coronavirus, COVID-19, should I restart the blood thinning treatment? And I'll put this over to Dr. Eric Tseng. Eric, what do you think? Uh, thanks, Jim. So this is a really important question, and it's a very common question that we get nowadays. Um, the short answer to this, and then I'll expand with that, would be that in most cases, as, as Stephanie had mentioned, uh, if you become infected with coronavirus, but you have mild symptoms and you're an outpatient, even if you have had a history of thrombosis previously, if you're not on blood thinning medication at the moment, we would not routinely recommend that you be restarted on your blood thinning medication if you're not on them already. Uh, a couple caveats to keep in mind. Um, so this is with the assumption that uh, you are an outpatient, not admitted to hospital, and that you have um, reasonable mobility. And we should also keep in mind that in general, um, if you have had a, a clot in the veins or, or a heart attack or a stroke, um, there is uh, some risk of the clot coming back in general uh, if you're off of blood thinning medication. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is that uh, there are things that we can do besides taking blood thinning medication that can reduce the risk of thrombosis coming back. And in particular, these would be things that we can engage in with our daily lifestyle. So for example, if you do have mild COVID-19 infection, uh, I would encourage you to not stay in bed uh, and at least get up out of bed and try to go for a walk socially distanced three or four times a day. Uh, and we'll talk a lot about a lot about this later on, but if you do have symptoms or signs of the clock coming back, then you should certainly seek medical attention. But in general, um, I think this is a case by case um, um, situation, but in general, we would not recommend that you that you resume your blood therapy. Thank you, Eric.